All right, today we're gonna to learn how to add a shadow in Photoshop. So in your assignment, there are two photos to choose from that you're gonna download. This is one of them. And then you're going to create a new document. So um, you can pause here and see the size that you need, but it's gonna be this many pixels by this many pixels, 300 for the resolution and then hit create. And then whenever you have two images like this, you can either just take them and drag them and drop them to make them side by side, or you can go to Windows, Arrange, and float them all in Windows, and then that'll also put them next to each other. So the first thing we're gonna do is select this subject. So the fourth box down is the Object Select tool, and then this is the easiest way to do it. You just click, wait for it, this is gonna be exciting, select subject. It does take a couple seconds, so you're gonna to have to be patient. It's gonna look like it didn't do it at first, but that little spinny thing is gonna go, and then you can see it has the outline. So then you have to go to the move tool. The move tool is where we always wanna come back to um, at the very top, and we can hold down on him, move him over here, let go. There he is. You can resize them if you want to. Remember to always have this box checked because if it's not checked, we don't have the guides and we can't resize and move things unless that's checked. I have no idea why it's even an option to not have it checked. Okay, and then if you would like to play with the background because this is what it teaches you in the video that I found online. So if you're feeling, feeling really confident, like you're a little more advanced, you can click right here on this you have the background layer highlighted. And by the way, if you don't see the layer box, you know to go to window layers. You can click on this circle right here and choose gradient. And from that, you can have some choices in here and you can see how it changes the background a little bit. And gradient just means that it's like going from light to dark or dark to light. And so we're gonna be putting a shadow for this person down here. So maybe you wanna choose the one where it's lighter on the ground, but just to have it not be a plain white background, you could do that. And then we're gonna make a copy of the person. To make a copy, I think you could probably right click and choose make a copy somewhere, but I do it by dragging it down to this box with the plus inside, and that makes a copy. You can see that I have two of the same thing. So I wanna make this guy a shadow. So an important step down here where you see the white box in front of the black box, this little curvy arrow changes them from which one's in front and which one's in back. We need the black in the back. And then a shortcut that I learned today is control backspace. Wait, hang on, I didn't mean to do that. You have to have a, uh, oh, we have to select them first, that's right. So go four, four boxes down, hit select subject again, and then we're gonna make him a shadow. So we're waiting for it to select him. And then we hit back, control backspace. See how it made him a shadow? We wanna put the shadow behind the person. So we're gonna hold down on the layer and put him the shadow behind the person. Now I can move it around with the move tool. Here's his shadow. All right, now, of course, that's not probably what shadows usually look like outside on the ground. So we wanna lay that down next to him, his shadow. I'll probably connect it to his foot though, or put it a little bit behind him. And then you can go to edit, transform, distort, it means you can like change the shape, like squish it. And then if you grab this center box up here, look at this, here's his shadow. You can make it like closer to noon, more in the evening, however you feel it looks good. Once you like where you put it, you hit enter or click this checkbox up there to lock it in. And then of course, shadows aren't usually that dark and that sharp and like defined. So you can fuzz it up by going to filter, um, blur, where's blur, blur, Gaussian blur, and play with the numbers. There's a preview here, right? So you can see the, far, the bigger the number down here, the blurrier the edges are. So whatever you think looks good. You can also fade this by when you have the shadow layer selected, you can lower the opacity and you can see it lowers it. So whenever you like what you have, you hit layer, flatten. I don't know why it still has something selected. There we go, layer, flatten, and then save it and make sure it's a JPEG, give it a name, put it in your student ID folder, which you know I don't have. Let's put it on my desktop and then attach it to your assignment and okay.
And now he has a shadow. Ta-da!